Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh, thanks for joining me today. We're talking about Kennedy from Not Enough Nelsons. I've never talked about her before. I have talked about her sister, Just Ass. Kennedy's the one who actually got pregnant and probably is Just Ass's like dream come true, but she's doing a video called, Are We Showing Our Child on Social Media? I guess we're going to take a look at it because a lot of people have been sending me this video and saying, look at it, celebrate this girl, blah, blah, blah. Are we going to celebrate her? Let's take a look at it. So here's Kennedy K's channel. KK, K. And Kennedy K is basically Sarah Chalk, only a little bit younger. If you know, you know. I love that show. It's so good. Anyway, Kennedy K has 900,000 subscribers, which is not nothing. It's almost a million. She's obviously not as popular as her sister, but she has 415 million views. A lot of those have been made through exploitation of her siblings, like my sibling trying to be pregnant for the day, right? So before we even get into this, you got to know. Yeah, maybe she's not going to show her child, but her explanation better be dang good because all I see is the exploitation of her brothers and sisters on this channel, just like Just Ass. So I, there better be a great explanation as to why, and if that explanation includes safety, includes privacy, or anything else, all you have to do is look at this channel and be like, you're a damned effing lying hypocrite a-hole, and Joseph Smith, you deserve each other kind of thing, and you and Joseph Smith deserve each other. So you just got to look, her most popular video on her channel is telling my 16 siblings that I'm pregnant, right? Gender reveal. It's always about the baby. She's making, she's already made if hundreds of thousands of dollars off being pregnant. Okay. Taking on my mom's morning routine. Her mom doesn't work. Her mom's a piece of crap. Uh, just exploits the children. They go on vacations a lot. The older kids take care of the younger kids. Basically, she's not taking on her mom's morning routine. Okay. Telling my parents are pregnant. Telling my husband I'm pregnant. It's all pregnant. Like as soon as a pregnancy is pregnant. King, it pays a lot of free. If I could get pregnant, I would show it on the internet. Okay, I would make lots of money doing it. I have no problem with the pregnancy journey. I, I really don't. Okay, it's what happens after the pregnancy journey, and we know that those people who are like doing it, like they're gonna, they're gonna capitalize on the pregnancy journey. And yes, they're gonna exploit their children, but they say they're not going to. So I want to take a look at it. anyway. If you just look through her channel, I just wanted to show you her period talk. Six hundred thirty-two thousand talking to my little sisters about periods on her channel, by the way. Okay, so before we celebrate this girl and clap, 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 okay, and her douchebag husband, you got to know, wait, what? Kennedy Nelson? He took her last name. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's going to piss a lot of people off me laughing at that, but that's hilarious, okay? Anyway, um, especially from Christian like, women are supposed to be who say that the Christian, why is your ring on backwards there? It's weird. Does she slap him with it? Anyway, all that to say, she's uh, she shuts off her comments for this video. And we are going to take a look at the comments from uh, the video after or before this because she doesn't shut off the comments on hey this. Guys, oh my, shut up! She doesn't turn the comments off on this video, okay? And we're going to look at the comments. So let's look at the video. It's uh, not long, super awesome, good. So let's see what they have to say about why they're not going to exploit their baby. Oh, I can't wait for this. Oh, I live for these videos. Hey guys, welcome. It's Kennedy Nelson. Oh, sorry. I thought it's. I'm so stupid, guys. I'm so dumb because I thought that she's putting up her name. Who am I? And this is her husband. And I'm like, okay, it was the same name. It's just her social medias. I thought it was a lower third with like his name. I'm like, it's weird that she named. She married a guy named Kennedy Nelson. That's right. <laughs> I am an idiot. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but it's funny because he's like an accessory to her channel. Like these children, their husbands, they're all accessories to the channels. Kennedy K, I'm Kennedy, and this is my husband, Chase. Of course, his name's Chase, of course. He probably has a pair of loafers, probably wears pink shorts, tells people his dad's a lawyer, so don't mess with him. Probably gets in fights with huge guys and he's got big buddies to back him up. Definitely has a pair of those shoes, the little wheels on the bottom. 100% still plays with Lego, okay? Would grow a sweet stash if she would let him. Has no idea why he's on this channel. Definitely has many, many golf shirts. This video is something that we've had a lot on our minds lately. This video is something we've had a lot on our minds lately. That didn't make any sense. And Are all these kids really that uneducated? Are they that dumb? They're all dumb. Um, we're looking forward to- Oh, he picked his nose. Picked his nose on camera and been flicked it. Sharing. He flicked it. All of- Slow that, rewind that, Tyson. Play it back. Um, 
Picked his nose afflicted. Our decisions and everything that we have discussed with you guys today. So for many of you who- Even notice like the body language, this guy does not want to be here. Also, she's like in front of the camera, he's behind. She's got to be the center, he's off to the left. It's all gross. May or may not know, um, Chase and I are going to have a baby. I'm sure we all know, considering you put out 5,000 videos on it, as you may or may not know. Are you serious? I don't even know you and I know you're pregnant. Water, everybody. Drink water. In February, and we are so excited. Couple more months. And... <laughs> Jeez. Yo, man, I cannot believe I married this lady. What was I thinking? I thought I was gonna be rich and everything else. It's just really, we go to too many pumpkin patches, we go apple picking, but it's all for the camera. All I wanna do is play Call of Duty with my bros. I'm not allowed to. Did you ever see that post that's going viral? The girl, she has, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can find it. Okay, so here it is. So if you haven't seen this, this is going kind of go viral now. PS5, PS5 time schedule. This is just a guy who, who tagged it. So in order to play 30 minutes of PS5, she, he has to give her a foot rub. Okay, back rub is 40 minutes. Okay, I disagree. The foot rub should give you longer because it's gross. Cook dinner, one hour of playing time. No online, no one, no online. Why? Why does it matter where, how he plays it? What? <laughs> Take out the trash, one game of 2K only. You shitty anyway. That's nice. Uh, clean the house. Two hours of playing time must take 30 minute break for affection. <laughs> ah, you gotta be kidding me. Unlimited playing time Sunday only. No playing time anyway. Violations will be sold. Uh, something tells me that the relationship there is not gonna last very long. You can't make your husband a PS5 schedule. Sorry. Can't do that. Cool? Don't do that. Don't do that. And if you do that, get wrecked. <laughs> It's just getting, my belly is getting huge. I'm so, it's the best. It's not. I love having a little bit. It's the clients. Diva. They all do the clients. And um, we're starting. This guy hates, like, the side eyes and things that he's given her. Look, you guys know I'm not always right. I know I'm not always right. But I trust my gut on these things. And I was trusting my gut on a lot of things like, I don't know, Ace Family, Eight Passengers, a bunch of them that kind of fell apart. I trust my gut. I trust my gut in this. This guy He's regretting his life choices. Is all I'm gonna say here. Y'all are baby things, and it's been crazy and such a fun experience. And she's sad inside too. Like she's sad. And also for those of you who may not know, I am the oldest of 16 kids, and my family also has a channel. And they she talks so much she runs out of breath. Also show their lives and kind of all of the fun things that. My siblings do, and my family does. And me putting on here, talking about periods with my sisters and my channel, making money off of it. We all show our lives. And what it's like to have 16 kids. And I just kind of wanted to let you guys know that um, my family and I, we love YouTube, and we are so, so grateful for it, and we're grateful for all of you and our support system, and we're just very, very grateful for- <laughs> Jeez, just nod when I point at you, okay? all of the amazing help that we've oh received my God. from YouTube. What do you mean help? You mean money. All the amazing money we've received from YouTube. Don't mean help. I'm just say money. Don't be stupid. You receive money. And along with that, with um, starting our own family and kind of figuring out- Her fingers are way too long. They're like Disney witch fingers. Do you know what I mean? Like Ursula, not Ursula. What's the one? Yzma. Her fingers are way, like she's got her mom's tennis racket hands. They're creeping me out. They look like creepy spiders. Little creepy Mormon spiders. I don't like their, those, those are gross. Guys, obviously, as you know, hands are a big deal to me. If you have ugly ass thumbs and stuff, I'm gonna make fun of you. Her hands are really creepy. They're creeping me out. Well, our channel is going to be like, like Skeletor's hands. Man, okay, relax. Like, you know when you see, when they open the car sarcophagus from like Egypt and you open it in the mummy's hands? That's what they look like right now. <laughs> Like in the next future with our own children. The next future? Um, Chase and I have been really pondering and thinking about what we want to do as parents. And we have come to the, to decide that we're not going to have our baby boy on YouTube. Okay. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm glad to hear it. And as we do here, doesn't matter what kind of D bag you are, if you do something worth giving credit for, let's give credit where credit is due. Good for you. I think this is a great decision for you and Chase. Likely, Chase didn't make this decision. <laughs> Probably doesn't give a crap one way or the other. He just wants to play Call of Duty. Okay, good for you. Honestly, Cassidy or Shittity or whatever your name is, good for you. 
great decision. Now let's hear why. And we want to reaffirm that my family loves YouTube and all the kids love YouTube. Why do you have to, we want to reaffirm that we love YouTube? We love making money. Just say we really, really love making money. We love making money. And we really, really enjoy it. But Chase and I have just been really praying about this and we feel- You're praying about it. That's good. So you're praying about it. And so God tells you what? Not to exploit your children online. Don't show them safety, all that. And yet, hmm, interesting enough, if you just go to her channel, millions of views of her brothers and sisters on there, including period talk, probably dating talk, probably dentist injuries, all the stuff, skincare, you probably have a million things on there, bathing suit parties, shopping for bikinis, you probably have all of it on your channel. So it's odd that you pray to God and God's like, you know what, with this one, I really want you to protect this one. Okay, don't, I don't give an F about your brothers and sisters. Just protect this one. We good? Thanks for praying though. Thanks for praying. Side story, story time. Okay. I follow uh, Rewatchables on Facebook and everything else. It's a great podcast. I don't actually listen to it. I just follow the, <laughs> the threads because I don't have time to listen to podcasts. But um, Rewatchables is a great Facebook group because people are like, hey, this is a good Rewatchable. And you're like, oh, I remember that one. Because you always remember those movies you should watch. You're like, I love that one. But someone had suggested First Reformed as a movie that was like, it's GOAT. It's like an excellent movie. And a lot of people were agreeing with it. Didn't give the premise away. If you've never, I'm not, I'm segueing from religious talk, but if you when you used to go to church or used to be minister or anything like that, or understand anything about church world, go watch First Reformed. Okay. Now I know there's a little bit in there about like, you know, climate and all that kind of stuff. It gets, it's not woke per se, but it's really, really well acted and it's very cerebral. And I, man. I don't know how else to explain it. It's not for everybody, obviously. And I'm not a guy who generally watches boring style dr drama movies. But oh my gosh. I will be thinking about that movie forever. Go watch it if you like good films. Like good acting. Ethan Hawke, incredible in this film, okay? Incredible. So I don't know where I was going with that, but just, uh, yeah, side, side story. Well, like, we're not going to be showing our um, children on YouTube at all. And so kind of along with that, we wanted to give you kind of what exactly- Kind of a kind of a kind of a kind of kind of. Exactly um, is going to happen. What no, I want to hear the reason why you're not. That's what I want to hear. I'd love to hear this, this reasoning. And if it's just that we prayed and Jesus said not to, or Joseph Smith, or whoever you pray to, not good enough because then why are- So what, what are your brothers and sisters supposed to think? You exploited them, but- you're not exploiting your own child? And I'm glad you're not. Don't get me wrong. But what are they supposed to think? Well, wait. God said you shouldn't, so you're not going to because God said, well, what, what did God say about us? Did you ask God about us? Us? Are kind of the details of all of this um, with our Is Chase going to say things? I hope so. It's not being on YouTube. And so one thing is our children will not be in any videos. They're also not going to be in any thumbnails. They're not going to be in any titles. Our kids. I wonder if Chase is like, look. No, I see how sad your brothers and sisters are. I see this life that you led. She's probably told him many things that he, obviously he knows the inside, how the sausage is made at the Nen house. Okay, he knows. And so he's like, you're not putting our children through that. This, I hope it's Chase saying, you are not putting our kids through that garbage. And she's like, you're right, I shouldn't. Because she, obviously, why, would she, why else would she make this decision when can she makes her living on social media? She has no problem exploiting her brothers and sisters, no matter, how, no matter what age they are. What has changed? What has changed? I hope she gets into we'll it. We'll also not be on TikTok or on Reel. We got it, that's social media, dumbass. Or um, YouTube Shorts. Also, they will not be shown on my family's channel, not of Nelson's. Ooh, that was probably a fight. Could you imagine being what's her face, to, uh, old neck skin over there and not being able to put her granddaughter on the internet? Oh my gosh, there must have been fights. They were throwing hands. They were throwing Mormon jabs. Right? They're out there. Like, I bet you there's beef. I bet you there's... Maybe it's like until just ass can have a baby, no one else can show a baby. I don't know. But I'm telling you, there was beef. Why would you not show your kid? And do you not... And I bet you even... I bet you next kid even said something like, oh, well, what do you think people are going to say that, you know, that you're, you don't want to put that baby on the internet? They're going to say what I'm saying right now. Well, why not? You have no problem exploiting your brothers and sisters. Oh man, you know there was beef. Or my sister's cast, uh, just cast, or any other. Cassass and Uh, the Nen Fam channels. They'll really get. So she she explicitly 
Clawhan said, not on Just Ass's channel. She explicitly said that. She had to make sure everybody knows Just Ass is not going to be exploiting my daughter or son or whatever they're having. And that's that was legitimately a, mm, a knife right there to Just Ass. About this decision that we decided as a couple and for our family. And it's not really about what's right or wrong for us or other families, I think. They always do this. The people who say these things, either they say yes, they're going to explore, or they know, but they always go to, like, we don't care if other people do. No, I want to know why. I want to know why you're not showing your child. Give me the reason why. You And if they don't, the reason why they're not going to tell you is because they the reasons are it's dangerous, it's scary, it's without their consent. They're going to say all the things that we know are the reasons why they're not they're not going to say it because it'll throw the other channels under the bus that's why they're not going to say it i hope they do though every family is very different and i had a family and kennedy had her own family she grew up with and we're wow you guys had families grow thanks Trace. you're good tips we're starting our own family together and all three of those families are very different though. he's really good at skiing i bet you one another and I think every family is very different and they all also handle things differently and they make different decisions so you know what it is I think it's like this guy hates her family but probably hates the mom because the mom is this like a psychopathic crazy person right who can like and the sister who can't have a baby you know that there's beef there's no way that all those big personalities can't can't live together there's no way they can live together all the big per no way and so the husbands that they branch out and having, they probably hate like the mom, the dad, like every, they probably all hate that whole thing. They're like, I cannot like they, they marry these women because they're perfectly Mormon, whatever. They look like this, right? They, and they, what they're, what they don't fail, what they fail to realize is they're getting into something really crazy and they don't want that. They don't want, because they see how those kids are treated in the back end. They're not allowed to talk about it, but they see it. And so like, you know what? I have power here. You're not showing my kids. Because I bet you this isn't even her decision. This is his decision. He's like, you're not. Nope, we're not putting our kids through that garbage. No effing way. I see what it has done to your brothers and sisters and you, and you want to put our kids through that? <laughs> nope. Again, even though this is different than what other people on YouTube. Look at her. She's like, she's got her nails like dug deep into his thigh. Like, say the things. I'd be doing this. It doesn't mean that they're wrong or we're doing things differently or we're doing something wrong. Jeff. You're doing something differently, though. You really are. You're not putting your kids on the Internet, which is excellent, by the way, and kudos to you. But that's tell me why we have different ways of going about um, raising our families. And this is OK, but you have no problem exploiting her brothers and sisters for your financial gain. What about that? Why don't you talk about that a little bit? What we feel like is best for us, and we've talked a lot about it, and we feel like this is the best decision going forward for us. Something tells me he was like, this is a make or break. This is like a deal breaker in our marriage. We're not showing our kids. And he, she's like, well, I can't get divorced on the internet. That'll be bad for views. So this is him. This is the power that he has. He honestly has his power, and I hope he's wielding it to protect his children. I hope that's the case, Chase. I hope that's the case, Chase from Paw Patrol. I really do. I hope that's you standing up for your kids and saying, look, I don't want this for them. And if that's the case, kudos to you, bro. Kudos to you, because this is the power you have. You have parental rights. If she doesn't, and if she's like, she clearly wears the pants, so obviously, because it comes from that type of family. There's not necessarily anything wrong with that, but at the same time, use the leverage that you do have in this marriage to protect your children. Because it's like, it's super frowned upon on these family vlogs who try to tend to be look to be perfect to be like because he probably said look you're not showing my kids because if you do i'm out As if i hope so anyway I mean, even though this is what we're doing we'll still have support other family members and other friends and other, all, all other people that want to continue with did you not audition this guy to be your husband when you married him because he's terrible on here their children on youtube and that's great for them and this is just what we feel is best for us going forward but why but why yes and along with that, we have talked to my parents and they they know that we're not going to have money to and they're- They got that. And they cut, they freaked. They hit me with a bat. They chased me off their mansion with a gun. My mom is super upset and angry. My dad doesn't care because he doesn't know what's going on anyway. Just ass is livid, although secretly happy about it because she wants to have the first baby from this family on the internet, which she's not going to hopefully, you know? 
everybody's angry. The brothers and sisters are like, thank God. And give me high five secretly behind mom's back because they know that they lived through the nightmare of this. And they're glad that I'm making that choice for my kids going forward. That's what the cut. Then they cut it. And then this is what they said instead. Very supportive. And we're really grateful for that. Oh, they're very supportive. <laughs> and we're also very supportive of if, uh, with their family and what they want to do. Because That's your family. My family absolutely loves YouTube. My we know your family loves money. You don't love the YouTube. You don't. You love the money. Siblings, you know how they are. And don't say your family does because you know that a lot of your brothers and sisters absolutely hate it. So get wrecked. Your family. When you say some of my family enjoy it, some of them absolutely effing hate it. They are crazy fun and they just love YouTube. And so, <laughs> so I think it just really depends. Why do you keep saying that? Doth protest too much. Thou dosteth. If you gotta say the thing, it's not the thing. We really love YouTube. We really love it. We love YouTube. Don't get, don't, don't say things. We love YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you said it like eight times. The family and the dynamics that go along with that. I Is there a good dynamics in exploiting children? Okay. I just kind of wanted to reaffirm that my siblings and I have had great interactions with YouTube. Why does she keep saying this? Sounds like you haven't. So this is what she's, this is called projection. This is exactly what's happening right now. She's projecting that the reason they're not going to, cause she's not going to give you explanations of why they're not showing their, their kids, but they're doing it because they're like, because my siblings grew up in a nightmare and they don't want their children to, but she has to reaffirm that no, 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 YouTube has been great. That's not the reason. So then just give us the reasons. Why are you keeping it so hidden? So weird to me. And um, we are so grateful for all of you and all your love and support and we're grateful for- We'll take a look at some of that support in a second in the comment section. All the advice that we've gotten. I feel like even during this pregnancy, it's been amazing because I've been able- Why are you getting advice from strangers on the internet? Your mom, your mama had like, I know she adopted some, but didn't she have like eight kids? Your mom probably a wealth of knowledge. You get so much advice on you. I wouldn't ask her mom for advice either. Their baby products or just advice on like how to feel better for your pregnancy. Um, Chase is like, oh my God, I cannot believe this is my life. Chase's buddies absolutely make fun of him behind his back. And it sucks because he's probably a nice dude. But he's probably a good guy. Poor Chase. Chase has gotten a lot of advice on med school stuff and we've gotten advice. Gotten? See, he's going to be a doctor. Good for you, Chase. That's excellent. But he obviously knows how dangerous this is and this is all his choice. And, you know, they're not going to need YouTube. He's going to be a doctor. I mean, YouTube, like, don't get it wrong. YouTubers make way more money than doctors. Let's be real. Way more money. But he's going to look at her fingers. Dr. Chase, check her fingers. What's going on here? It's like she got, it's like she's wearing fake finger extensions. What's going on? With all of these amazing things that we're starting with this new chapter in our life. And so we're really, really grateful. You're just saying a bunch of shit over and over and over and over and over again. And it's all the same. It doesn't make any sense. For that, I'm grateful for all of you. How many times has she said that? And how many times has she said YouTube's great and that she's grateful? So now, what's going to happen to Kennedy K? I've got a lot of people are wondering kind of what our plan is for YouTube. No, I wanted to know why you're not exploiting your child. And so... Chase and I have decided that I'm going to continue to still do YouTube and I'm going to be showing and she's going to make double his triple his salary <laughs> my life as my experiences being a mom. You better stop, though, showing your brothers and sisters, because if you're taking your because there's no other explanation. Just why? Why? One simple explanation is all we want to know. And we can tell by the projection what the explanation is. Right? She keeps saying, oh, no, YouTube's great. It's awesome. So don't think it's because of YouTube. No, it's exactly. Why else wouldn't you? What are the reasons not to? Safety, privacy, the concerns, everything. Just by doing this video alone, you have admitted to something you definitely didn't want to admit to. So let's be real. And talking about um, things that have helped me and also sharing just different life experiences is still the same thing. I'm going to be showing my big sister tips. Ah, uh, there we go. Still gonna exploit my brothers and sisters. I feel like a lot of my videos are mostly around girl advice and... Talking about periods for strangers and predators on the internet. Your husband definitely didn't like that one. And just what it's like to have so many siblings and just crazy fun things that I get to do. And so she is on okay my gut is also telling me this is not her decision this is all his decision and she's like what am i gonna do i gotta show the baby we could have made millions they aren't making millions off the pregnancy though let's be real but this she is not happy about the situation here at all you can tell this is all chase and he's being serious in this video he's like nah 
I don't even make this guy, but he's making his stick and stance. That's what's happening. We're still going to continue to your med school buddies. They make funny. Showing my life, but our kids will just be separated from that. So and he's like, damn right. See him? He did the damn right thing. Damn right. For example, when our baby is taking a nap, that's when I'll be filming. Or if Chase can. Good luck there, mom. <laughs> Chase looks like he's going to be in school full time or being a doctor. And you're going to have time with a newborn to vlog without putting the newborn in your vlogs? I mean, why don't you just say, we're going to get a really good nanny so I can do more vlogs. When Chase is like home and he can take the baby, I'll be filming some fun little things. Why don't you just tell us that you're going to have a nanny? Just tell everybody. It's like that, but we're not gonna have a family channel. Yeah, I just got saw just other updates on your wife and other things that are going on and what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He's a really good rollerblader. We'll definitely be showing all of our moving stuff because we're gonna be moving so soon. And I'll be kind of talking about my experience. And she kinda, kinda, kinda. His experience with him going to med school and kind of figuring. No, he's, he's like, you can say that, but we're not gonna do that. We're, we're not gonna now all this new parenting skills and all these like grown up things that we're going to be doing in this next chapter of our life. And for me, I'm going to be going to med school starting next fall. Oh, he's just starting. Bro's going to be a doctor in his 50s. Cool. Oh. Yeah, money. Um, so right Although, man, if you can be a doctor in your family, be a doctor in your family. That is a good, good thing. We need more doctors. Chase. We need more doctors. In the interview process and be grateful for the interviews. But she's gonna pay for all the medical schools. So that's like what, hundreds of thousands of dollars? No debt. I've had and been doing some research on different schools and different areas and potential places that we could live. Mm -hmm. And yes. Imagine like this guy's gonna go to med school with all the poor students who are going hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. And he's like, so tell me a little bit about you. Well, my wife exploits her brothers and sisters online. We make millions of dollars. We just bought a new house. We're just living the dream. She's paying for med school. They're not gonna like you. Chase, just here, hear me out, here's some advice. Just lie. I know it's really hard for you because you're Mormon. Just lie, bud. Just be like, you know what, man? I struggle every day. I live in a van down by the river, but I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna get through this with you guys. <laughs> he's holding like a $14 Starbucks while he's saying it though, so they don't really believe him. But I'm just telling you, Chase, lie. Lie to those people. Uh, in a few more months, We'll have a good idea of where it is that we're going if stuff works out, and we'll let you guys know where we end up. Oh, thanks, bro. It's gonna be so exciting. I can't believe it. Literally, a lot of things. Literally, not telling us the reason. I love it. It's happening in February, and it's gonna be such a great blessing. Notice how they didn't say anything. Why? No reason why. Just like, nope, not doing it. And that's good. I'm glad you're not. But I love the. Oh man. Oh man! We're so excited. So, in like conclusion with everything, we just want to reaffirm again, we're so grateful for you guys and we're grateful. We heard this four times, we get it. You're angry that people aren't gonna watch you because they're following you for the baby content, you're not gonna give them to them, and we'll see in the comments what happens. Before. Like, this, they probably lost subscribers during this video, I kid you not. Like, she's growing probably very fast because of the pregnancy, because her most popular video is the pregnancy. It went viral. They probably grew pretty quickly. People are waiting to see this baby, and when they don't deliver, like, she'll deliver, but not deliver, you know what I mean? There, that's why they keep saying, we're really happy you're here. Stay with us, please. We're not going to show you this baby, but please. YouTube, and grateful for your respect, and we... Grateful for your respect? You deserve people's respect. That's weird. Just pray and help you guys. What about your brothers and sisters? Do they deserve your respect? Respect our decision as parents. And we're so excited to see what the future holds for us. Yeah, it's going to be the same garbage. Our family. I Again, if she continues to exploit her brothers and sisters after this video, I will be disappointed. I Everybody's disappointed in you. Like the fatherly disappointed, you know? I'm disappointed in you. I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. You know that feeling? That's the whole world for you. And um, we're excited to share that with you guys. Um, just want to say how grateful I am. She's not down for this. And for my family and for- uh, <laughs> we're, There's no beef with mom. It's all good. And me and next skin, we're good. All my siblings and we're so grateful that we're, we're able to have this YouTube, all these YouTube channels and grateful to share our lives. And how many times has she said this now? Six? And bring some positivity on in the world, I guess to say. <laughs> Shut up. To share our life experience. Is exploiting your brothers and sisters bringing positivity into the world? And says, I'm really grateful for my family and that they're being so respectful and supporting us and help. 
you gotta stop saying it. It's making it worse. Helping us and just being- Because he knows, Chase knows, they were not supportive of this. They were, there was no support. There was beef. There is now beef. Oh, side note for another show you need to watch. The Bear can't stop watching it. We are on season two. Like, can't wait for Wifey to wake up from her night shift because we gotta watch more. The Bear, do yourself a favor. Head over to Disney. It's on our Disney Plus. Head over to Disney or Stars, whatever it's called, and watch The Bear. It's Lip from uh, Shameless. He's such a great actor. It's about food. It's about this guy who's, I don't want to tell you. I don't even want to tell you. Go watch Bear. Okay? Or The Bear, or whatever it's called. There for us no matter what we decide. So we're just really grateful for all of you and all of our viewers. They said this seven times already. We got it! You're grateful! Up and support us and have been helping us so much throughout this process of pregnancy. They just repeated the same line 17 times for eight minutes. And it seemed to be um, parents and figuring out how to raise a little baby boy. All right, guys, we love you. We're thankful for you. Oh my God! Stop saying it! Times, and we're just grateful for all your support again. And we also, I guess you're fair. Anyway, we love you guys. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. What the fresh hell did I just watch? Okay, so this is the video that she did before she shut the comments off in the other one. So she's getting, I don't know, my downvote to that. Nine, oh, a thousand downvotes. Not bad compared to 16,000 upvotes, but that's still a thousand downvotes. Probably more than she's ever gotten. Okay. Watch next. My sibling's being pregnant for the day. So she's in the, in the same post. She's like literally like explaining her brothers and sisters. Okay, so sort by newest. Um, cool. Someone's pissed. That's not fair that you're not showing him. I really had my hopes up, but now we won't be able to see what he looks like. Can we see him in the blue moon? Okay, um, princess, whatever your name is, uh, yeah, it's gonna look just like the rest of them. Okay? They're gonna all look the same. Have you ever seen a Mormon? They all look identical. Are you still doing a birth video but blurring out his face? Same person asking. I just watched the new YouTube video and I think it's crazy how you're showing everything about your child, but not the actual child. That's a whole spoiler. Because we're all so excited and happy for you. Nobody really to blame, but it really spoils it. That's weird. Okay, so you turned off comments in your latest video. I want to ask you why are, are you afraid of losing supporters and maybe YouTube go under for not showing the baby you have led us all to this. And it is your choice, but everyone is going to want to see him at least once. What he looks like. I don't know. I don't know. But why don't you just put an O in there? Just put the O in. I don't know, but it's your decision and I understand. But your is your O broken on your keyboard? Well, there's a no. I wonder if everyone will and if your channel will hold up after this. Just asking sorry. Just asking sorry? Oh my gosh. This is the people who watch this. And this is why the people that they influence, this is who they influence. She's not showing the baby for his privacy. She didn't say that. And she doesn't want random people coming up to her baby. That's creepy and weird. That's really, really, really interesting that she doesn't want people come, random people come up to her and her baby. Does she not mind that they're coming up to her brothers and siblings, brothers and sisters that she's been exploiting? Does she doesn't care? Just the baby. That's that's good. Good to know. Your child is the chosen one, is it? Why can you not show your baby on YouTube? It like why? Wow, these fans are real deep with the comments. It like why? I want to see your baby. It okay, but not fair. But it okay, cute name. I'm really sad about her new video. Wow, how old are you? You look young and have a baby in your stomach. Okay. I'm so sad you're not going to show your baby. Sad, sad, sad. Yeah, I'm sad too. I don't know people keep seeing the blue moon. I'm happy about your decision on if the baby boy will be on YouTube. But could you please let us see the baby boy in a blue moon? It okay if you don't want to. What is the blue moon thing? Your decision to keep your children off the internet made me gain so much respect for you. What about her decision to continue to exploit her brothers and sisters? Was that sad? Did you have respect then? Okay. Someone's like, it is, is it Alan? I'm sure they're going to name their baby Alan. It's literally just children following her. I'm reading these comments, all children. But you know what? And that there is a big silver lining to this is that these kids are actually listening to say, hey, we're not going to show our kids. They're all pissed about it, but at least they're hearing it. What has the not enough Nelson Stark said about this video? Yeah, here's a post about the respect. I'm so happy to hear that they will not show their son on YouTube. Any thoughts? I really hope they stick to it. I think it'd be difficult with everyone around them vlogging, posting to children. I'm proud of them. It's hard to be the odd one out when your whole family's doing it. It's really nothing more. They're just, no, she's, again, the fact that she continues to exploit her brothers and sisters means she doesn't give cra two craps about anybody's safety except her own little child. And the, the reason that she does, she's admitting that it's dangerous. 
That's the craziest part. She's admitting that it's super dangerous and that she can, will continue to exploit her, her brothers and sisters in this dangerous situation that she knows is dangerous. In my opinion, Ken is the only one in the family that doesn't care about money or view. What? Yes, she does. Are you out of your mind? I think it's awesome that she won't be sharing Ace's face. Of course, her name, kid's name's Ace. And every little detail, but I'm so happy for them. Why are you happy? Like, well, then why don't you say the same thing about them exploiting their brothers and sisters? Way to go, Ken. They're making a very wise decision. I, you guys are giving her too much credit, peeps. This is not her decision. In my opinion, this is his decision. Tiffany's probably pissed she won't be able to make 100,000 grandbaby videos. That's I agree with that comment. Tiffany and Cass better back off. I think Tiffany would actually be respectful. I think the whole Ren, Nen fam stuff was all Cass. And she doesn't give a flying hoot. Tiffany genuinely seems like a loving, supportive mom. No, Tiffany does not seem like a genuine supporter. Are you kidding me? She's an exploitative twat. Sorry, she's she's an exploitative douchebag. I think Chase had a massive role to play here. To all the Chase haters in the sub, this is him. He wants privacy and doesn't like YouTube. It's a means to an end while he trains as a doctor. Go Chase and Ken. It was, yeah, I agree. It's Ch Chase's decision, 100%. I think it's really Chase I wanted to say low key. Uh, and Kennedy would have liked to make family content if he was okay with it. I think she wouldn't have re revealed the name of her unborn baby if she really wanted to stay private about it. Yeah, it's, she's like, we're going to keep our baby private, but here's the whole video on the name. Hopefully they're just lying about the name because Ace is a little bit weird. Let's be real. Hello, Ace. And you're a pet detective. <laughs> That's all that comes to mind when I hear that. You name your kid Ace. That's a little weird. It's really weird too that does she usually have the comments off? It's really weird she turned the comments off. It's really weird, eh? It's interesting. <laughs> Look at this. Not usually, but I think it's totally fair for them to have comments off in this one. They made a decision. They're most likely committed to staying firm in that decision. We'll see. And they don't want unwanted or unnecessary criticism. Well, too bad. You're on the internet. Cassidy is going to be pissed about this one. Yeah. You know what? I don't think Cass is going to be mad about this. Cass, because when Cass gets pregnant, if she does, and I literally hope she never becomes a parent because she's going to be the worst. Um, if she does, though, you know that she's going to be the one that exploits it, and she's glad that she's going to be the one that gets due first. You know that's what's going to happen. Anyway, these people are dinks on here because they're like, yeah, go Cass or whatever your name is. or Janity. I don't even know. There's too many N's, too many D's, and too many E's in her names. Okay, crack a D as far as I'm concerned. But there you go, everybody. But here it is. You give credit where credit is due. Thank you for not showing your baby. That's great. I hope you stick to it. But let's be real. She completely exploits her brothers and sisters and nobody seems to have a problem with that. That's really weird. She, they, and they didn't give you any explanation to why they're not going to show this baby, which would have been fantastic for the kids that they influence because a lot of kids watch them. They could have said, look, guys, it's just not safe. The reason they didn't tell you is because they're going to continue to exploit their brothers and sisters. And that's crazy to me. You guys just, you didn't see that. You didn't see, you didn't see that at all. Wow. Get better. Okay, get better. Everybody, take a deep breath. <sighs> Bony fingers over here. Explain it. Do another video, Skeletor Hands, about why you're not going to exploit this child. I would love to hear the explanation. He, and it's so clear why she's not going to. And I can't believe people don't see that. Anyway, thank you for being here, everybody. Thank you for being a part of these videos with me. I appreciate you. This has been a great new year so far. I hope you're doing well. We're going to do a members only live coming up next week. We're going to do one every like twice a month, just hanging out with you guys. I really appreciate you. So join the membership if you want to be a part of those. It's really fun. We do a lot of talking about prepping. Maybe I'll do an entire like, here's my bug out bag. Let's talk about it. Like, let's talk about it. Anyway, thank you for being here. Thank you for being amazing. Don't forget, you are incredible. You need to be here. Protect your kids. And I will see you when I see you.